Good morning. Yeah, I'm saying good morning because I'm recording this on a day off at 7.56 a.m. Because I figured, let me try my best and get back into the grind. I used to record videos really early in the morning so I could have the rest of the day off. But even then, I would still be recording. But you guys didn't click on this video to hear that. But I do have a special 500 subscriber special coming up. And we are so close. We are at 389 is the recording of this video. So make sure you do subscribe. A lot of you that watch the videos aren't subscribed. So please do subscribe. It will help the channel out a lot. But anyway, today we are going to be talking about the Dino Fury team. Not the Cosmic Fury team. The Dino Fury team. And we're going to do the main three to start this the journey off. So we are Zato, Amelia, and Ollie. Zato is the first ranger we're going to be talking about. So Zato is from a planet known as Rathcon, and he had an ally there named Ion. Now, during Ion and Zato's training as knights, or when they had became knights, the Rathcon, I would say higher ups, created these things known as Sporex. Now, these Sporex are actually meant to protect the Rathcon. They were actually meant to help the knights out, but instead, uh, and they were meant to help the knights out. But they had asked Zato if they if the knights should agree to this or not, and Zato trusted his gut and believed at the believed in the higher ups capabilities, so he decided to side with them over Ion's better judgment. This turned out to be a bad thing though, as the Raf as the Sporks were actually very evil and actually very bad. So when they had attack, when the Sporks were let out of their I would say tubes or whatever, um. They attacked the Rathcon and the knights were overpowered and the Sporks actually actually ended up heading to Earth, leaving Rathcon behind and the and Zato's knight squad had followed them. And during their fight on Earth, Zato's team had met the Morphin Masters and the Morphin Masters used dinosaur powers in order to give these Zato's knights Power Ranger abilities. This creating the very first Power Ranger team to ever exist due to the fact that they got their powers during the dinosaur age so zato's team is the first power ranger team so to sum up zato's origin story he was from he was a knight on a planet he messed up with a judgment call those that judgment ended up almost taking out his planet almost wiping out his entire race his entire family etc he followed the evil doers to earth he met the Morphin Masters where he gained Ranger abilities. That's where that came from. That is Zato's story. And he was actually frozen. Like, I'm talking Mr. Freeze frozen. Um, not Mr. Freeze frozen. Like, Mr. Freeze's wife's frozen. Which is actually a plot that I'm going to get to in the Void Knight part. Because, yes, I'm covering Void Knight. I don't care. Um, so, basically, Zato was actually put in frozen containment during the war. Um... And during and he only got woken up when Void Knight went to look for the Sporex, and he was able to find the base. Um, Solon was able to wake Zato up in the present day, where he ended up meeting Ali and Amelia, and this is where Zato had found his new team with Ali and Amelia, as he had already known that his former team were dead, or so he thought. So now. That is Zato's story. Let's head into Ali's story. So Ali's story begins in modern times. Um, Ali is a very smart, very disciplined. Um, he is very stuck in his ways. He doesn't really listen to anything that's not scientifically proven. Um, think of him as Chase from Lab Rats. Um, but basically, Ali, um, I believe Ali was like working with his mother, and when he was working with his mother. He ended up finding the ranger base by accident, and actually Amelia went with Ali to the ranger base. Well, no, Amelia and Ali were together. They weren't dating, but they were like trying to prove a point because Amelia was out ghost hunting, and Ali decided to follow her. Where they eventually ran into Void Knight, and they followed him into the ranger base, where they actually morphed inside the ranger base. I'm pretty sure I'm getting this wrong, but please tell me in the comments how it actually goes. But um. They followed Void Knight into the Ranger base where they actually activated the Morphin Grid and the Morphin Grid towered over them where they got their, uh, where Ali got his Blue Ranger powers as well as Amelia. Speaking of Amelia, Amelia and Ali's stories on how they became Rangers are pretty much similar. Amelia went ghost hunting in the forest because 
um, during Zato's war, the dinosaurs that gave them their powers turned into statues, and those statues just, just have been sitting there for the longest time. So Void Knight figured that was a ranger base. He went down there. Amelia and Z uh, Ollie found, followed him because they thought he was a ghost, and they were leading him to more ghosts. And when they had followed him, they activated the morphing grid by accident and became red and blue, um, pink and blue rangers. That's how Ollie and Amelia got their powers by accident. And when Theta woke up, he was like, "This is my new squad." He had no idea if the gold, if the gold, um, Dino Fury keys was. He had no idea if the green and black Dino Fury keys were still around, so he figured it was just those three. And that's the origin of the red, blue, and pink rangers. So red, so blue and pink found their powers by accident while following Void Knight into the base. Zeta was a ranger during um, the dawn of the dinosaurs until they got frozen. So that is it for those main trio. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I decided to do it in sections because I haven't done like a sectionized Power Rangers Origins video in a while. So yeah. Um, and please, tell me in the comments if I did get some of this stuff wrong. It's been a while since I watched Dino Fury. Hell, it's been a while since I watched Power Rangers, so I'm going off of memory. But hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And please, make sure you subscribe. It will really help out.